Hi there. Thank you for tuning into our background video behind Grimsel's current world record. In this video, we want to explain a little bit about the team behind this car and a lot of other cars, and also about the competition Grimsel was originally built for. Because Grimsel is not just a sprinter, it's capable of a lot more. Grimsel, the world record breaking car, as well as all the other race cars you can see here, were built by the AIMS at Racing. AIMS stands for Academic Motorsports Association Zurich, a team of approximately 20 to 30 students from the ETH Zurich and the University of Luzerne. The team is financially independent from both universities and gets support by companies from all around the world. We get financial support as well as produce parts free of charge. In return, the companies get the logos on our cars, on our teamware, and a direct link to the students for recruitment purposes. The aim set designs, produces, and tests a new race car each year to compete in Formula Student, which we will learn a little bit more about later. AIMS at Racing was founded in 2006. This means that this year we celebrate our 10 year anniversary. We started with combustion cars named Albula, Maloya and Simplon. Like all of our cars, they were named after Swiss Alpine passes. In 2010, we then came to Furka, our first electric car, which was able to win the overall competition in Formula Student UK. 2011, our, uh, with Novena, our first car with self-developed electric motors. We developed those motors simply because we couldn't find any electrical motors on the market that would fit our purposes in Formula Student. After that, each year, we developed our own new motors for our race cars. Novena was able to win two out of four competitions in Formula Student Spain and Formula Student Austria. With Umbrail, our car from 2012, we come to the probably most noticeable change, aerodynamics. A front wing, a rear wing and an under driver developed for this car. Umbrail was able to win the Formula Student Spain competition that year. With 2013, we come to Julia, one of our most historic race cars. The first car with four-wheel drive, four-wheel hub motors power this car, and also the first electric car in motorsport history that was able to beat not only all electric cars, but also all combustion cars in a direct competition. That happened in Formula Student UK, and Julia was also able to win Formula Student Austria in that year, pushing the aims at racing to the first place in the world ranking list. Here you can see Grimsel, our world record breaking car. Grimsel was developed in 2014 and was also able to win three out of four events that year, defending the first place for the aims at racing in the world ranking. I won't go into any technical details because we have a completely separate video over the technical details of Grimsel right here. You can see that here. We then come to Flüela in 2015. Flüela was our third car that was able to defend the first place in the world ranking. That means right now we are holding that first place in the world ranking list for three years in a row. Back there you can see Gotthard, our newest car for the 2016 season which is assembled right now. When you see this video, Gotthard will already be ready, had some testing kilometers and you can see more technical details about that car in this assembly video. So now we've talked a lot about our team and about these cars, but what you don't know is what these cars were originally built for. They are not only sprinters, they were developed for the so-called Formula Student Competition. And Ismail will tell you now a little bit what this competition is about. All these cars have been developed for a competition called Formula SAE, also known as Formula Student. It is an international engineering competition in which over 600 teams from all over the globe compete at Formula Student venues. The first such venue took place in Austin, Texas in 1981. And 25 years later, there are venues in the United States, Canada, Brazil, Spain, Italy, Germany, the UK, Austria, Czech Republic, Hungary, India, China, Russia, Japan, and Australia. In some of those competitions, like in the UK, combustion and electric cars compete under the same category where in most others they compete in split categories. The main idea of Formula Student isn't actually the pure speed of the cars, but the engineering that goes into them. As such, one Formula Student venue consists of several disciplines. 
And one of the most important such discipline is the engineering design competition, where the students have to explain and present their concepts and their reasoning behind those concepts to a group of engineers stemming from the industry of motorsports. They then in turn grade the students by the properness of their engineering. Since Formula Student also aims at preparing the students for the real business world out there, they have to keep in mind the cost side of their developments. Therefore, in the cost analysis event, they are graded by the cost effectiveness of their car. For that, they have to hand in a cost report for a small badge of a thousand cars. For the business plan competition, the teams have to present a business case around their car to a fictitious group of investors and convince them to invest in their project. This trains the students to think about real-world marketability of their development. Beyond these three static competitions where the cars didn't have to move an inch, there are five dynamic competitions. But before the cars can actually hit the track, they have to undergo rigorous scrutiny by independent experts. This is to make sure that they are safe and rules compliant. Only after they have passed all these security checks are they allowed to hit the track. Now, let's watch how this looks like. Now let me tell you about the dynamic events. The most straightforward one would be the acceleration. From a standstill, accelerate and reach the 75 meter mark in the fastest possible time. Then in skid pad, the suspension system is put to the test while driving a narrow figure eight track at highest possible speed. The autocross then is a one lap qualification like race where the sheer speed of car and driver is put to display. And lastly, but importantly, the dreaded 22 kilometer endurance race, where the durability of the cars are put to the test. But not only lap time is of the essence, the energy which is used during the endurance race is also measured as fuel or electricity, and the fuel efficiency is also awarded with more points. One large difference between Formula Student and many other motorsport series is that wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing is explicitly forbidden. On track, there are predefined overtaking zones where a slower car can be overtaken by a faster one. Now you might say, what kind of racing does not allow for wheel-to-wheel -wheel fights? Please bear in mind, these prototype cars are developed by students, tested by students, and following down that road, also driven by students. Letting untrained drivers race each other in a competitive manner is a recipe for disaster. And this is, by the way, also the reason why Formula Student circuits are that narrow and twisty and don't allow for higher speeds. A component failure at 80 km per hour is far less dramatic uh, than one at 250 km per hour. Now, despite all this, Formula Student, with its vast variety of car concepts racing each other, makes for a unique and exciting racing competition. So folks, this was the overview to our team AMZ Racing and the competition Formula Student. Thanks for watching and maybe see you at the next competition.